I got this comment. Shout out to uh, G5, I think, 9224. I mean, somebody must have got that name 922 times. <laughs> or 9,022 times, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, in the comment, it says, Lock out out of all these trekking channels. Yours is most interesting. Why, thank you. Thank you. Where do you find these people to talk to? And why your channel don't have 100K subs? No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Well, let's start with the 100K subs. Um, when I started this channel, it really was nothing to do with the way the channel is now. I mean, if I was like 100 in YouTube years ago, maybe I would be up at the 100K mark, maybe a little bit more, maybe a million. I, I don't know. I mean, I've been on, I've been rocking out with YouTube for almost 20 years now. At that time, social media wasn't uh, uh, a keyword as, as it is now. I mean, back then it was just something it was just something to do. I, I was looking for uh, ways to store my videos. And when I came across YouTube via my son, yeah, that was the way to upload the video so I can go back years later and see what I have done or what I have caught back then. Uh, that's that's what it was. I mean, uh, channels started getting a little bit of traction when I when I did certain industries. I got in the trucking. That's really that's to be honest when it really picked up and kind of took off. But of course, that happens with everybody that gets in the trucking. They started a YouTube page, and of course, it took off. The trucking niche was was really relevant, uh, in my opinion, back in the uh, twenty the two thousands, maybe all the way up to like twenty fifteen, and maybe a little bit in the uh, maybe a little bit in the twenty twenty. But of course, now you guys know that the trucking niche on YouTube is really not a a, a hot niche as it used to be considering platforms like TikTok is taking over and that's where majority of trucking content is being consumed over there. Um, but for me, like I said, I, I, I went through the, I went through the trials of trying to get my channel to be interested amongst different types of people that was coming in the trucking industry or just looking for some trucking content and at the time uh that i was doing it uh I, I was looking to get a footing and again like i said majority of you guys started gravitating to the channel because of the trucking content that i was that i was putting up on the channel did it catch on yes it really did but for me throughout the throughout the years it just kind of got I don't know. To me, it just kind of got a little bit of mundane of talking about uh, driving every day, really trying to put a, a, a interesting video together for you guys. Take time. Uh, I mean, basically what we do is drive all day. That's it. We we drive our 11 hours. We get to a truck stop. Maybe something interesting in the truck stop will happen. Uh, maybe not, maybe something interesting will happen at the shippers or receivers, or maybe something interesting happened while you're on the road, but you, you just don't come across interesting things every day. And throughout my channel, I started going through different things. I started to come up with topics, started to come up with uh, reactions to other videos and things like that. How I find the people to come on the show? Well, at first, when I when I changed up the format, the channel went through several different format changes. And when I came to uh, to change up the the channel again, I got the idea because I watched different talk shows. Yeah. 
But where am I going to come up with $1,200? I mean, Tony helps out, and I am so grateful. I, it covers the basics, but... I listen, I listen to different podcasts and stuff like that. And back then, that's when the podcast thing was kind of coming into play. It was kind of... I was kind of blowing up. I had a chance to listen to different people and their podcasts and stuff like that. And I kind of got interested in the conversating with different people. That was in my niche, trucking, and that wasn't in trucking. So I figured since I had time, because I, I was working for a black ops company, and at that time, I, I literally had the time, I was able to bring on uh, some interesting people on the channel. Uh, I reached out how I did it back in the day. I, I would watch different channels. I would be interested in that person's content and interested in what they was what they was doing, whether if they was in trucking, how they got into trucking, why they like trucking, yada 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 trucking, and. And amongst other things, I will reach out, I'll, I'll comment in their comment session and say, introduce myself and say, hey, my name's Lockout Men and I'm, I'm interested in having a conversation with you. That's how I was able to get some, uh, some people on the channel years ago when I started it. Uh, again, the channel went through another <laughs> uh, format change. They just reach out to me. I have a, they have an interesting story to tell, or they want to vent about a company, or, or just talk about a company, or just talk about themselves, or just talk about uh, their experience. They they just uh, they just reach out to me, and I'm uh, grateful for that. I I drive all day, and to pass the time, I I literally will have some good conversations on and off the air i mean i come i come across people every day I, I meet people in the fuel island i meet people at the truck stops and and people that just call me up off the channel number or just hit me in the dm or the email and they they have an interesting story to tell and i'm like all right cool i'm with it they getting on the phone and 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 just having a conversation with with one of these interesting people makes the day go fast i i kid you not it it really does i mean next thing it will be like two or three hours that we're on the phone <laughs> that's how the people come across the channel and i feel that now uh i i don't have to reach out i mean unless you are doing something interesting or something like that because like i said before i always get my content from places like TikTok, uh facebook groups and and stuff like that so yeah i mean that's how that that's how the people come on the channel and i i have interesting conversations trust me i got like three hard drives filled with conversations so yeah, with that with that said, that's that's how that's how the people uh come on and gravitate to the uh to the channel. And I, I honestly really do appreciate everybody that's uh gravi gravitating to the channel. Um another commenter I wanna respond to, he said I came across you from other people's channels. And you're not like the way the other people perceive you i like to respond to that and um my response is thank you very much and over here i was thinking about how i was gonna handle this been working on my anger lately so i figured it'd be good if i could just quietly say any kind of problem you got financial or otherwise you, know, you come directly to me please leave come out of the fuck out of it you know like that of course uh back in the day when i was trying to I guess trying to get my name out there as far as the channel goes, that uh, I was invited to come on people's platforms. I was invited to come into groups uh, and stuff like that. And, 
in the beginning, it was okay. It was kind of exciting meeting new people, talking the same topics and stuff like that. It was great. Um, I had a good time. No, nothing against the, the, the groups and the channels that I have been a part of back in the day and nothing against them. It's just the vibe between us just kind of settled off. So we kind of just uh, parted ways. It, it, it's a good experience for me because I appreciated my time with them. I appreciated getting to know them. And I came and I gained a few followers from that, uh, from that experience. I took all of that and I learned from it and I just applied, applied it to myself on how I move next. Thank you for the comment. Uh, I really do appreciate it. And uh, thank you, uh, G5, for the for the sentiment because again you said that my you know channel is the most interesting and I, I i do appreciate that i mean i i don't know if my channel is the most interesting out there because you know there's different there's different creators you know in the trucking niche that probably might have a more interesting platform than i do but you know, like I said, you know, my my platform is is available. I make my platform available for people of of not just trucking, but in any industry, just to come on and 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 share their experience with me. Because you know, I again, like I said, all I do is drive all day. I, I got time to get on the phone and 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 just chop it up with you know with somebody that's wanna that want to chop it up with me so you know I, I i really do appreciate it uh before i get on up out of here i got one more uh commenter that i want to respond to this one comes from the dm on instagram um he says can we get in contact with you well it's it's easy you also said something about you tried to get in contact with several other youtubers that's in the trucking field and you feel that they i guess don't have the time or whatever case you you didn't mention that and i'll respond to that so for me i you know for me and what the channel is about i i made it easy for you guys to get in contact with me i don't have exclusive content behind a paywall like patreon and stuff like that and memberships and stuff like that where were we people enjoy the silent auction I thought our goal was to raise money. I say we get them, lick it up, let them tear each other's throats out. <laughs> of those exclusivities, meaning that you can get uh, a personal uh, collaboration with me or a personal phone call with me. It, that's that's not the case uh, with me. Uh, the channel has a text number because I, I call you from a different number, but the, the, the get in contact with me initially, the easy, the easiest way to do it is by getting in contact with me by the channel number. And the channel number is on the channel. It's in the, it's in every description of the video. And it's also in the description of the channel itself. Another way of course is by email. Uh, that's lockout man podcast guest at gmail.com that's a way that you can get in contact with me i check my email every day if, if i'm available i check that and i get in contact with you that way uh another way of course is instagram uh i i and i after that i don't have no other i don't have no other outlet instagram uh gmail and the and uh and the phone number that's on the channel those are the ways to get in contact with me uh if you have questions and if i can answer them you know you can get at me that way you want to have a conversation on or off the air you can get in contact with me that way so i i give you guys easy access to me if y'all want to talk i'm here let's talk um so with that said i i honestly really appreciate everybody uh that contributes to the channel 
um, we're getting to 100k. Uh, that that's all I can say. I mean, is we're 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 getting new subs every day. <laughs> YouTube does a cleanup every once in a while. What I mean by YouTube cleaning up is like you know a lot of bots a lot of people that did have channels and the only reason why they made channels so that they can you know comment uh or engage with you know with the with the content that they're engaging with and in order to do that they have to make a youtube channel well after they make that channel if they haven't been active on it for you know for a while youtube pretty much goes in and cleans it up you know kind of deactivates the channel and when it does that it deactivates the subscription and when it does that i lose that uh that subscriber she's got enough money to do that huh she's one of us now it's like she's one of them we're, we're getting there and like i said i i don't tend to put as much into the subscriber as much as I put into the viewer because right now we got over 4 million views and I, I think that's an accomplishment in itself. I mean, we got more views than a, than a channel that has 100,000 subscribers. But for a channel of our size to have that many views, that's, that's an accomplishment that that I, I, I I'm, I'm just flabbergasted about. I mean, I, I got my subscriber count is is like small channel ish considering, but you you look at the view count and how many people watch the videos or how many people that came over to the channel and seen, you know, whatever video because you know we we started from humble beginnings to where we are now and to get over 4 million views is 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 spectacular to me so we're on the road uh to 100k uh hopefully we hopefully we could get there before the end of the year we want organic shout out to the organic people that's uh that's on the channel the return viewers that's on the channel i see you i look at the analytics every day i see you thank you guys and uh, I, 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 I just appreciate you guys. So what I want you guys to do is to comment, share, uh, uh, like the video, get it in the algorithm so that YouTube can continue to push the Recruiter Call channel uh, slash the Lockout Man podcast show. Uh, and uh, yeah, you know, I, I really do appreciate it. So uh, to end, if you guys are interested in coming in and chopping it up with me you guys got all the opportunities to get in contact with me via gmail via text uh via dm and uh let's 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 uh let's let's chop it up uh, if you want to support the show there's plenty of ways to do it like subscribe comment that's that's the best way to support the show that gets it into the algorithm uh, if you want to monetarily support the show there's ways to do it there's paypal there's coffee there's cash app dollar sign lockout man thank you very much i love coffee and uh and yeah we're gonna we, we're gonna stay humble we're gonna stay we're gonna stay the course shout out to nifa knee for the end song credits if you guys definitely want to uh, hear Nifa Nee's music. She has a catalog on her channel. Her channel is Nifa Nee on YouTube. So make sure you guys go over there and uh, subscribe to uh, subscribe to my channel, buddy. Nifa Nee on YouTube. Big G's got it locked. Boy. Don't you love me, y'all?